welcome to Legends of Our Time on TBC News and Ghana Television. My name is Gifty AJ, and we are coming to you from Kumasi in the Ashanti region. A bit of the background for our guest today. He was born in Ofenso in the Ashanti region in 1933 and ordained as a Catholic priest in 1959. Ten years later, he was made a bishop. By dint of hard work, he was elevated and appointed archbishop in 2002 and retired in 2008. Our guest obtained his Master's of Theology at the University of St. Thomas Aquinas in Rome and then Master of Letters in Social Anthropology at the University of Oxford in 1960. He was made the first African to serve as a rector at Major Seminary St. Peter's Pedu in Cape Coast. Our legend became a bishop at a time where everything that came from the missionaries were perceived as good. But anything African, including the cultural practices such as drumming, dancing, uh, festival celebrations, were totally and shamefully condemned by Christianity. His prolific writings, including over 1,000 articles and books, traditional Catholic doctrine and values in the light of Ashanti traditions and customs. Our guest has received various awards for his contributions to humanity, including the Tuskegee Award USA, the Companion of the Star of the Volta by the Government of Ghana, among others. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest for today is Archbishop Emeritus Akwesi Sapon of Kumasi. Hello, sir. Thank you so much for the honor. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you also for your hospitality. Uh, we are indeed grateful. <laughs> so, you celebrated your 60th anniversary in terms of priesthood two years ago. 60th anniversary, yes. Yeah. Yeah, two years ago. Yes, so, in, uh, I was 50 years a priest on the 11th of December, uh, about 50 years ago. Okay, so what would um, inspire a young handsome man, I mean, many years ago, to decide to follow Christ in terms <coughs> of uh, becoming um, a Catholic priest, especially where your, your, your mother had an issue, you know, she lost a number of children before you, but then you grew up and then decide to go into priesthood, knowing you can't have kids, family, marry and all that. I mean, what, what, what accounted for that decision? It is very interesting. The way I decided to become, well, a priest was, uh, I, think, I think, providential. I can say it is providential. You know, my mother, as you have just mentioned, you used to have a um, child death. I think the four children she had before I was born all died. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I stuck to my mother wherever she went, wherever she went, mm -hmm. until I was nine years old. Okay. At the age of nine, it happened that. Uh, I was with my mother in the farm, what we call a kurasi, Okay. in the farm. And my mother used to send me to bring a <coughs> plantain mm. to, to my grandmother. Okay. One day he sent me to send, bring a plantain to my grandmother. Mother. It was at the time, 1942, I was about nine and a half years old. Uh, as soon as I reached the door of my grandmother's house, house a gentleman said, but this is a, this is a boy, this is a boy. Mm -hmm. And I heard my grandmother saying, she is not my child. Mm -hmm. She is a heterogeneous child. Mm -hmm. What had happened was that mm -hmm. in my village, there were two schools, one Methodist and one uh, Catholic. Catholic. And uh, 
colonial government decided that there should be only one school because there were not enough students to fill both schools. Okay. So the school that will get most students who will be declared or will be made the, the school of the village. Mm. And this man called Oduro, who was, was a Catholic, was going from village, to, from house to house. Campaigning. Campaigning for, <laughs> for children to, become, to go to the Catholic school. Oh, okay. And he had been to my grandmother, and my grandmother had told him that there was no child in that house. In the house. But as he was stepping out, he met me. That was what he said. But this is a child. Mm -hmm. So my, my, my grandmother said, well, I cannot uh, decide on this. And so whatever, whatever the, the, the following Sunday, of course, my, my mother came for, to, for Mars. And uh, the, the, this man went to my mother and got me into the school. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now in that same year, this was, the date is uh, very important. As I said, this was 1942. The following year, the first Ashanti priest was ordained, Catholic priest, called by Mr. Father Teria. And uh, my teacher went came to Kumasi to witness the ordination, the first ordination ever of a Catholic in Kumasi, Ashanti. At that time, Ashanti comprised Ashanti, Bonahavu, uh, Ashanti and Bonahavu. Mm. When my, 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 my teacher came, back to school the following day and described mm -hmm. the ordination service <laughs> in graphic terms. <laughs> how the place looked at heaven and how the people were singing mm -hmm. and how the priest prostrated. When you are being ordained, the priest, you prostrate. Mm -hmm. Put your tail on. And so on and so forth. And I said, I want to be like that. That is all. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so how did your mother take the news? So I went and told my mother. Father. Okay. He was very happy. My mother said, no way. <laughs> <laughs> you are not going to be a priest. Mm -hmm. And so my father, very, very wise man, he coolly said, wait. You are too young to decide. Mm -hmm. So I waited, and then I went to, in those days we had infant school, uh, junior school, and senior school, mm -hmm. 10 years. There was no senior school in my house, in my orphan school. Mm -hmm. So for, from uh, yet in the elementary school, mm -hmm. so I went to uh, Beijing, for four years, and after the four years, I went to Emisana. Emisana is a place near Elmina, four miles from Elmina, and that was where the minor seminary. For the Catholic priesthood, you have to go to a minor seminary. Minor seminary is just like a secondary school, okay. uh -huh, up to six form and so on. And then you enter philosophy, major seminary, for two years. And then you enter theology for four years. Then you become a Catholic, a Catholic priest. priest. So I, I, I went to um, Emory Sauna mm. for the... Two-year program. No, 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 no. For the secondary school program. Okay. In those days, I had just finished... Standard seven in the big gym. So I had to go and do secondary school studies. In those days, it, was, it, 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 it lasted four years. Okay. So afterwards, in the same place, 
I entered the philosophy for two years. And in the same place, I entered theology for four years. Later on, the philosophy and the theology were taken to Cape Coast. It they do. It remained, and it remained only the minor seminary, St. Teresa's minor seminary. That is where it is up to now. So it, 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 did your mother in any way try to stop you from pursuing this your Interestingly, ambition? interestingly, Ashantis have a belief that when a mother had, uh, has a, or a woman has suffered childbirth, it is the same person who goes and comes back uh, playing tricks with their mother. Okay. And so that was why when a, a mother loses a baby at birth or after not long after birth, uh -huh, uh, the next the, the, the next baby to be that the the, 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 child, the mother bears is given a very funny name. Okay. A funny name. And uh, you know, Ashanti don't have tribal marks. marks, but they give you a tribal mark. Okay. And they're not a tribal mark. A, funny a mark, name. they put them from medicine in here. You see it here. Mm -hmm. They put some medicine in it to prevent you from Coming going back. back. Uh -huh. And they give you a very funny name. So if you want me to tell you the name, <laughs> read my autobiography. <laughs> And, and it worked. It, I didn't go back. Uh -huh. So what, what was the uh, name? Uh, I said it's in my doctor biography. <laughs> so you were, you were an only child? Were there well, other siblings? Uh, yes, four died. I was number five. Okay. The next one after me died. Then we had one girl, second girl, okay. third girl. Oh one br uh, boy okay. and one uh, boy. Oh. So at that stage, when, when I became a priest, we were three boys and three wow. girls. Wow. In the meantime, two girls have died and one boy has died. So we are left with myself, mm. a sister and a brother. Wow, that's interesting. So, yeah. so Archbishop, if you hadn't become a priest, what profession would you have pursued? If I hadn't become a priest, mm. well, right from the beginning, I thought I would become a train driver. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I, 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 there was a man, I don't know, you may have heard the name, Akwesi Kuma. Akwesi Kuma, he was one of the managing director of GNTC. Okay. Uh, he, was one of Kuma. he was my cousin and his father was a train driver. So I thought that, that was a good job to do. But when I grew up, of course, <laughs> I discarded the idea. And a new uh, one came? Many, many new ones. The first one that came was to do medicine, okay. to help people. Mm -hmm. My people were so poor. In the village, there's nothing for them to do. To do. My own cousin, uh, Ahen, died tragically. He was within a farm, mm -hmm. and the farm cut. The, the machete. What? Yes, machete, the cutlass of machete. Cut the, 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 the what, what do you call it? The, the toe. The, not the toe, the, 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 the artery there. Oh. The, the hair. Achilles artery, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and he bled to death. Oh, but Before he was rushed, you could reach Kumasi. There was no hospital in office. So before she could reach Kumasi, he was dead. Mm. So I would, I would have loved to do medicine mm -hmm. very, very much. To be, help, be able to help my neighbor, not necessarily for money. Yeah. Another uh, f function, uh, another job mm. I thought of was to be 
a lawyer. A lawyer. Uh, so again, the, the, I realized that people were cheating my, my people were being cheated by all kinds of uh, oppressive people, chiefs and so on. And that I had the idea that if I had become uh, a lawyer, I would be in a position to defend my people who are being molested, exploited, mm -hmm. and who are afraid even to, to express their, their opinion, even in public. Mm -hmm. This were the two subjects, uh, the two uh, disciplines. Uh -huh. <coughs> On the other hand, <coughs> in, my, in the Major Minor Seminary, uh, I was rather good at uh, mathematics. Uh, mathematics. I was, uh, well, uh, I was gifted with uh, mathematics. And uh, another subject I wanted to do at the university, in the end, I think probably I would have done mathematics. Mm. So, uh, so I like it, it's a, a subject in which you sit down, nobody disturbs you, and you have problems, and you mm. try to solve them mm. and uh, find out alternatives mm. to certain solutions and so on. That could have been another, another possible area. subject. Mm. His grace. Um, I'm, I'm a Methodist. Uh, what, what is it about uh, the Catholic priesthood that a lot of people uh, don't know? Because for us, I mean, some even say that the Bible says we should marry, bring forth, uh, you procreate and all that. But a, a group of you have decided you, there's no way you're going to know a woman, marry, have kids and all that. Uh, in the beginning, Catholic priests were marrying. Okay. They were marrying. That uh, Peter, Peter, who followed Jesus, he, you know that he had a, mm. he had a wife. Uh, so Catholic priests were marrying until uh, I don't know the the 15th century. The celibate priesthood was imposed on us by the church. Mm. Okay. It is not the rule of the Lord. It is not the law of the Lord. And so until the 15th century, if I had known you were going to ask me the question, I would have looked it up. Okay. We were all marrying. There's no problem. And even now, Catholic priests in the East okay. marry. Uh, they marry. If you are already married, and you want to become a Catholic priest, you can become a Catholic, a Catholic priest, priest with a wife. Okay. And even if in the West, if somebody decides to become a Catholic priest and he gets permission from the Pope, okay. that law of celibacy is ecclesiastical. It is purely a law of the church, okay. as you just uh, insinuated. It is not a law of the Bible. Okay. In, uh, it is not a law of God, mm -hmm. but the church has the right to make laws to regulate its own behavior. Okay. And because at a certain point in history, the celibacy, um, the, how, how, how do I put the, 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 the priests were causing problems. Mm. With the with the, the sex with sex, priests well, priests are also human, human beings, beings. Ah. and the the, the the Pope at that time decided that he had to make uh, laws Regulate. to regulate the behavior oh. of priests. Okay. If you think it is uh, it is said that even in those days there, there, there are some bishops. Popes mm. called the Borgia Popes. Okay. Some of them had wives. And uh -huh. children. <laughs> and <laughs> children, yes. <laughs> but whether the historians are not uh, uh, agreed on this, mm. that whether he, be, he had his children before, before he became a Pope, mm. 
or if, 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 if we became the Pope and still had uh, children, mm. that we are not sure of. But I think, but I think the, the, that one is uh, probable that he was a priest. The, that bourgeois, uh, bourgeois, bourgeois uh, group of family became notorious. Huh? Mm. They took the, the Pope, the papacy, as their own property. And they would appoint the, and the, and the Pope would appoint his nephew for this mm. and his nephew for that, and so on. And so uh, that, that was it. There were too many abuses in the, uh, uh, in the, in the, in the priesthood, which the Pope wanted to uh, uh, cut down uh, completely or leave from the church by enforcing by instituting celibacy as a, as, a, as a condition for the priesthood. As I said, there are many priests even. Not long ago, there are, there are many Anglican priests who are married, mm -hmm. left the Anglican church, and they, they, they are proud to become Catholics. Mm -hmm. They were applied to become Catholic. They left the Anglican Church because the Anglican Church accepted women peace. Okay. Uh, and the, 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 the Catholic Church doesn't accept women okay. priests. Oh, okay. uh, and then when they left, they took, took many of the priests of the Anglican Church came to the Catholic Church. About 800 of them. Some of, them, some of them wanted to continue their priesthood. So the Pope allowed them mm. to live with their wives and to, mm. uh, <laughs> and to, be, and to function as Catholic priests. Mm. I said I, I didn't know how to, 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 to start <laughs> the, that conversation <laughs> in the beginning. Mm. Why did I say that? I said that because you made a statement mm -hmm. that... The, 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 the Bible says you should marry and multiply. And so it is not in the Bible that we should uh, not marry. But it is in the Bible. Corinthians chapter 7. Okay. St. Paul says, St. Paul says that the best thing for priests, for us to do it's not to marry mm. like himself. Okay. Uh, he was not married. Uh, mm. But if not marrying will uh, bring you temptations, uh, then you must marry. marry. But the best thing, in fact, is to be like him and not marry. Mm. So in the Bible, too, <laughs> it uh, makes provision. Celibacy. Is, uh, allowed. Is, uh, yes, it's allowed and promoted. But the best proof that the celibacy is allowed and promoted and, that, and, and, and therefore celibacy was enforced later on the Catholic Church was Jesus Christ himself. Yeah. Jesus Christ himself. The Jesus Christ tell the apostles, follow me. Uh -huh. Follow me. Follow me means what? Do <laughs> what I do. Mm. Say what I say. Avoid what I avoid. Mm. Now, if you follow Jesus, you see that he never married. He never married. Uh -huh. But he, he, he never he, married. Is, is it an easy journey? Yeah. I mean, to <laughs> <laughs> okay. really... If you follow Jesus, yeah. he never married. I'm coming. But there were thousands of people who were following Jesus. It is only a few of them that he said, he said, to, to a few of them, he said, follow me. Okay. Not all of them. You see, he told Peter, follow me. He told John, follow me. He told uh, James, follow me. He told Simon, follow me. He told Bartholomew, follow me. He told a few. Follow me. These were his priests, the apostles. Uh -huh. So for the priests to follow Jesus, 
Miss really. But you don't marry. You don't marry. Uh -huh. but, but, the, but the the others can marry. Mm. But those he has chosen. Follow me, follow me. Mm. As you say, if you, you read uh, uh, well, uh, you know what I'm talking about. And so uh, Jesus himself never uh, never married. Mm. So obviously it is it is to be expected that the few he has chosen to follow him. Yeah. You have to live like him. Like him. Are we likely to see a change in the laws of the Catholic Church concerning um, celibacy? Maybe um, in the future, priests can, can marry. I have told Considering you, what's happening in uh, some have, priests what, 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 in what relationships some, or children. Uh, whilst I began to explain to you that until uh, something 15... Priests were marrying. Uh -huh. They said the law of celibacy was instituted to prevent an abuse. Uh, to prevent an abuse. So it comes to the point that uh, people don't, yeah, the, the, the people think that uh, if a priest where if we were to marry the poop the the, the, well, the things that we hear about priests would uh, would lessen uh nowadays you have the, the, the all kinds of uh, cases against priests mm. even pedophilia mm. the little girls mm -hmm. and uh, and the uh, inability to keep the celibate vow and all that yes and they, they suggest that if he were to marry these things would either disappear or be lessened but is that so are you telling me that the peace in other parish in other churches who are married have solved your problem <laughs> I'll take a quick break at this point, Archbishop. <laughs>
of the arch. So, so if you ask me, I was not surprised. I wasn't surprised. That's what it. Okay. But normally they will make you the archbishop, but it's not because I wanted to be an archbishop. Archbishop. So in your situation, uh, what I, sort of um, pushed the Pope to settle on you as the archbishop for the archdiocese at the time? Yeah. What were the qualities that the Pope identified in you? <laughs> uh, you see, it is not like a, a, a politics. Uh, it's not like a politics. It is just like Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, he chooses whom he wants. He chose Peter. Made Peter a, a, an apostle. Made him a, uh, Why? He wasn't even a, a literate. And he chose Peter, and he chose uh, John, and he chose this, and he chose this, and he chose Ju even he chose Judas, <laughs> who was going to uh, friend. <laughs> yes. The principle in the Catholic Church, which is the true principle, it is God. Jesus Himself said, it. "I chose you. You did not choose me." If the Pope decides to make me an archbishop, it is not because I am better than another bishop, okay. another priest. Okay. It's not because I am the most, the, the cleverest. It's not because, now look at the bishops of Kumasa, like, uh, of Ghana. Some have never been to the university. Uh, some have never been to the university. Some have doctorates. Some are this and some are that. So that is, that is the, the, the point. I don't want to mention names. Uh, it's not correct for me to mention names. But uh, the Pope sits in a, 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 a room. He's, he doesn't even know me. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. He doesn't know me. Uh, how did he make a Texan, a cardinal? Uh, he doesn't know Texan. Uh -huh. But when, to begin with, a priest is going to be made a bishop, we have the paper nuncio here. Mm. We have a paper representative nuncio. You have heard the name before. Yes, he represents the Vatican. He is the Vatican's ambassador. Mm. So if there is a vacancy in Ghana, he will tell the Vatican. Who, the, yeah, right. will tell the Pope. Uh, mm. the, the Pope doesn't even see that, but he tell the Pope. Mm. So he will tell the Vatican. And then the okay. of people, mm. of priests, who the, the things, who mm. the, uh, the, the, the nuncio things can be bishop. We call that Terna, T-E-R-N-A. Each of the three persons must be eligible. Not that you are choosing one who is more uh, eligible than the, the other, but that you choose three, all of whom can be bishops, you see. And then you send the names to Rome. And Rome, you see the Pope, he doesn't even see <laughs> that. He's dealing with, he's dealing with 4,000 bishops. So how can, how, can, how can he do? But he has his departments. Uh, then the Pope, the Rome will send the names back to, if it is Kumasi, they want a priest, a bishop for Kumasi, they will send the names back to the nuncio okay. to distribute the names to people in the diocese, especially priests. And they have 39 questions. Where is he born? How is his mother uh, the found? What is his family found? What did he do his studies? What kind of degrees does he have? Mm -hmm. Is he uh, is he sound in man? 
talk about his doctrinal stand. Is he capable of being a, a celibate and so on? What is his relation with the government? What is his relation? What is his, uh, the, 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 the relationship to, with students and so on and so forth? With young people, 39 questions. And then each one, it, it, don't I get that, that if we call something uh, sub secreto pontifici, we call it uh, paper secrecy. You don't reveal anything. Okay. Otherwise, you are, you are in trouble. Don't reveal anything. And so this tenor can be sent to about, I don't know how many, mm. 30 people, 20, some of them lay people. You can get a tenor. Okay. But you must keep quiet. quiet. And you must answer the questions. If there is a question you don't know answer, an answer to, you don't answer it. You say, I don't know. Mm. Uh -huh. and then you go to Rome, and Rome will examine all the questions. And will examine all the answers mm. and decide. Which one of the three? If, it is, if Rome is not satisfied because there's something very bad wrong with this person, and another thing bad in this person, then the Rome will send back okay. and ask for another tenor. Uh, another tenor. <laughs> this is it. So that is, you, want the, you, want the, you want an archbishop for a new archdiocese. That's what they do. That's the process. Uh, that is the process. Tenor. And if the Archbishop dies, Archbishop of Accra dies, mm. they will do the same. They have the same process. <laughs> and uh, if I, I, um, I retired, mm. they did the same process to choose my successor. Okay. I don't have to start. It's not me. Who say no 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 no? If if I recom if I retire, then the tenor will be sent. If he's an archbishop, then the, the tenor will be sent to the bishops of uh, the country, okay. especially. Uh, do you think this man can be uh, archbishop? So that is the uh, answer. <laughs> Uh, to to your question. question. <laughs> and uh, the first of all, as I said, as I said, listen, listen to Jesus himself. I didn't, you did not choose me. I chose you. And he chooses whom he likes. You see, it's not a, it's not a question of this man being cleverer or holier or healthier or more uh, progressive or not. It is not a question of that. Of, it is a question that. of... Um, um, let's look at uh, another aspect of your life. Um, so as a Catholic priest, you have consistently adopted conservative views on issues bordering on um, culture and uh, religion. But these are um, different sets of beliefs. Why that uh, consistent? Ah, I don't um, know what you mean by conservative, and I don't know why you mean by <coughs> different uh, whatever. What word did you use? The beliefs. Uh, uh, I mean, tradition and the Christianity. Yes. They, are, they are different. No, what, <laughs> what is meant by Christianity? What is meant by Christianity? Christianity is not in the air. Huh? Christianity is not a European culture. Christianity is not a culture of Italy. Christianity is not a culture of Ashanti. Christianity is like humanity. Humanity. You are a human being. And I am a human being. And he is a human being. That humanity is expressed in the Anglo girl, in Ashanti girl, Ashanti boy, in uh, a, a, a boy, 
in the in the in the, in the Chinese. The important thing is the humanity, not how it is expressed. So the humanity, I am a human being. My humanity is expressed in my being a German. It is in my Germanness that my humanity is expressed. In the same way, the, Ch the, the, the Japanese is a human being. But his humanity is expressed in his being a Chinese. And so on. Uh, Christianity, therefore, is like humanity. It should, be, it, should, it should be able to be expressed in any tradition. Okay. Uh -huh. What is Christianity? Christianity means believe in God, love your neighbor, be compassionate, uh, seek peace. What? That's all. And that's all. Jesus came to preach a kingdom of God. A kingdom of love, of peace, of belief, of honor, of this and of this. That's all. That's the Christianity. Jesus told the apostles, go into the whole world, different churches. Preach the word. Not to preach, uh, not preach uh, uh, Italian culture. <laughs> Uh, again, if I had known we were coming, I would uh, yes, I, there is an interesting fact. If you will allow, allow me, that, uh, I will get it, I quote it at this stage. <laughs> but uh, if you are not happy with it, what, what Rome tells missionaries? They say, when you go, don't change. Oh. Don't change their customs. But what is happening in this world? Is it not ridiculous? We are sorry. I was saying, make me a make kind of We are sorry. I was saying, Jesus Christ told his disciples, "I am with you to the ends of the world." Mm -hmm. huh? How can a queer get up and start a church and they start using Catholics? Catholics mm -hmm. are Mary. Yeah, wait, wait, yeah, wait. What do we mean? I'm going to have a Bible. Yeah, 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 discussion. Yeah, yeah, discussion. No, 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 Politics. The president has, have, has to have different ministries. In the Catholic Church, the ministry is called congregation. And there is a ministry that deals with the missions. You see, there is a ministry that deals with congregations. I am under that ministry. Uh, and uh, ministry take, has oversight of the church in China, in India, the whole of Africa, and some parts of Latin America. In 1569, when some missionaries they were mostly Portuguese and um, uh, Italians. They were going to China. They were given instructions. Let me give you the instruction. The translation differs. Do not waste your zeal or your powers of persuasion in getting these people to change their rights, their rights, their customs, yeah. their ideas. Yeah, human rights. 
Ah, no, 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 not that right, not that right. Okay. Yeah, right, I-T-E-S. Yeah, culture. Aha! Don't waste your time to change their culture. Yeah, huh. Get me these people. Uh, change their rights. For what would be more ridiculous than to import France, Spain, Italy, or any other part of Europe into Ghana, into China. So we can take it from there. <laughs> I, huh? I, I get you. Huh? Yeah. What is what is more ridiculous? They, they, that's the way they use. Than to change this. What what is meant by Christianity? I know you are very passionate when it comes to politics and other national issues. Quickly, I'll give you uh, uh, just a few minutes to comment on any aspect of uh, of our lives that you'd want to uh, comment on. It says that you have described politics, excessive partisanship as the problem confronting yeah, Ghana. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, how yeah, can we yeah. handle such a situation yeah, 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. The politics means uh, politics means doing something about the state of the yeah. nation. Uh, doing something. I wanted to remember the exact ways that I've forgotten. Uh, every human being is a politician. You care for your nation. And you want to find the best way to get your nation, uh, what you want for the nation. Politics means trying to get the best for the nation. Uh, politics is arrangement about the welfare of the nation. Uh, okay. And there have been different types of politics in the world. Uh, take, for instance, uh, uh, there was a kingdom. Look at kingdoms and look at emperors and look at... Uh, <coughs> at uh, hey, why do I forget so much? Huh? <laughs> go, go to... Go to Go to India, you see Taj Mahal, wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. Politics, there was a special politics that brought it about. Well, literature, mathematics, history, Egypt. We have Egypt, the Africans have discovered many, 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 many things for uh, mathematics, medicine. They are all the product of different political systems. Now, party politics, whatever we call it, we call it a democracy. It's taken from the Greek, uh, the second part of the Greek empire. Mm -hmm. uh, they, 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 they came up with the rule of the people, for the, the people, people, and by the people. Yeah. The rule of the people, for the people, and by the, oh. and by the people. That rule, that rule, had nothing to do about elections. That rule that the philosophers are talking about had nothing to do with what do you call it, uh, elections, campaigning, uh, oh, elections, campaigning, uh, yeah, and I'm very happy, manifestos. manifestos. Nothing to do with the manifestos. The, the, the society looked at the person and decided that this person is the person to uh, not because he's a politics. What, what, what we are doing is party politics is only is only uh, politics, what we call democracy. It's only party politics. You do what the party wants you to do, and not what the people want you to exactly. do. Exactly. Are you telling me that there is a rule of the people in Ghana? Mm -hmm. Are you telling me that there is a rule for the people in Ghana? You can't tell me that there is a, that in Ghana there is a, 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 a rule, rule by of the people. 
with the people. Whoa, whoa. Okay. And I say, the chieftaincy was a perfect rule. Huh? Chieftaincy didn't depend upon ideas and so on. What we are doing in, in party politics, what party politics inherently, inherently, party politics has to be unjust. Inherently, it, it has to be unjust. They tell you, I am going to build schools here. And then you say, I am going to build many schools, but uh, hospitals. They're opposed. Now, if you win, if you win the election and you don't build the schools, uh -huh, you don't build schools, next time, if one person, if this person is, wins the election, is able to build the schools for you? <laughs> and when he builds the schools for you, I'm going to say he has no ideas. He is, uh, hey, is that what I'm going to say? He has no ideas. But if he builds the school, then he neglects what he said he would do. And then you are going to say he didn't do what he said he was going to do. Mm. Uh, so, so it, it, it was, I wouldn't mind you. You started building. You said we are going to build. That you didn't build. And then, and, then, and then I win the election. I'm going to do what I said I would do. do. I'm going to do what I said I would do. Hmm? And then you say, uh, he has left the jobs undone. To be sure, we have a lot to discuss, but uh, <laughs> unfortunately, our time is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Limited, okay. So, so it inherently, how, could you, how can you have a system in which there is an opposition? He opposes the government. We don't do that. <laughs> How can you have a prison and you call that? <laughs> hey. uh, Archbishop. Amen, amen. amen. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> so how do you want um, the history books or even the young ones to remember you many, many years to come in a line or two? How do I want the history? History? Yeah. Ah, to, well, what that, that. I have said all these things and when I was given the, the well, you remember, um, um, that, not that, Booth, Okroba, Nkroma, uh, memorial, okay. uh, memorial talks, okay. lectures at uh, Accra, uh, Arts and, arts and uh, science, uh, okay. Academy. Academy yeah. of Arts and Science. I said all these things there. Uh, and uh, if you continue like this, it, it, it will not. Uh, so I, as if I, if, I, if I had the chance and if I had the power, and I would like to beg Ghanaians, we had the capacity to do it. We have the ability to do it. Let us fight for a party-less government. No government with party. Once you have party, it is because he that disagrees with you that it is. So how can you expect him to agree with you? <laughs> party-less party, and the and the union government. My advice to Ghana is: let's have a look at the union government proposed by a champo. No party, but based on democracy, demography, human beings, and where they live. Uh, in this particular place, you, 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 you have 10,000 people. They can be represented by one person, and they okay. choose the person himself. This big area, you have also 1,000 people, uh, 10,000 people. Choose what you love, that, 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 depending upon the geography and the uh, uh, democracy. Then that is, uh, please, let us find a way. We are able to, capable of doing it. Let us find a way of doing away with party politics. 
and thinking of uh, the champions okay. union government. Yeah. Okay. A champions union government. Okay. Let us give let us give it a thought and not dismiss it the way it was dismissed. In your own words, how do you want us to remember you? <laughs> Many years to come. <laughs> yeah, when you call me a legendary man, no, I am so humiliated. Uh, I am so humiliated. Okay. And I want to be <laughs> I want to be like the, 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 to be remembered as mm -hmm. a simple person who was born in the bush of a shanty and who was given the, the, the opportunity uh, by God to be of service to his neighbor and who tried as much as possible, knowing his background to do something about the injustices in his village and in Ghana, and to do something about true Christianity, which means using your God-given uh, qualities and talents to preach the word of Christ, the word of love, the word of peace, and the word of truth. <laughs> <laughs> Archbishop Emeritus yeah. Peter Akwisi Sapon, thank you so much for the honor of talking to you. I really learned so much from yeah. you. And we are so proud of you. Thank you, okay. sir.